Okay, right now we're going to learn how to register your iClicker. Hopefully you have your iClicker in front of you because you are going to need to have the ID number on the back. So I'm just going to open a web browser. You can use whichever web browser you like. And I've got Firefox open here. And I'm going to just type in iClicker.com. Enter. And it takes me to the iClicker page. So hopefully you'll see a screen that looks like this, and what you want to notice is that on the right side there's a tab for register. So go ahead and click register. Now if you have your eye clicker and the number has worn off, the first thing that you can do is look underneath the battery compartment and see if it's printed there as well. But when you get to the eye clicker page, if you don't have your iClicker number anymore because it's worn off, but you did register it previously, you can actually use their program to try to find your ID. So if you've registered it before, they can still connect you back up. But today what we're going to do is go to the register button on the left side of your screen there. So click register and iClicker, and then it's pretty easy. We just fill in a few blanks. Before we get started, let me show you this little picture here on the right side, scrolling down just a little bit. Notice that it shows you the places that the iClicker number is typically printed. And so you'll see it on the back of the clicker in one of two different locations. Or, again, if it's rubbed off, then it may be underneath that battery compartment where it's better protected. So you're just going to type in your first name and type in your last name. And remember, you want to be a little professional here because I'm going to see your name and ID at the end of the semester when I try to match your clicks up for your points in the course. So capitalizing your names is good. And make sure that you type it in the same way that I'm going to see it on my roll sheet. And then your ID number. So it should be printed on your student ID card. Probably starts 002, but it might start a different way. And no spaces. So just go ahead and type in your number. And I made that one up, so it's probably not going to work. <laughs> and then your clicker ID goes right here. And so let's see, one, two, three, A, B, C, seven, B. That's a made up clicker number that I borrowed just from their example here. Uh, but you should type in the one that's on the back of your clicker. And then just to prove you're a real person, type in the image code, 9AG8R. And notice that if you're unable to read it, you can always click to hear that instead. And so it'll read it out loud to you. 9 A G 8 R. So it looks like I've typed it right. And I'll just click register. And the clicker should be all registered. Of course, when I click, what's going to happen? Well, I use their remote ID, not a real clicker. So if there is an error, it'll let you know where the error is, and you can go forward from there. And if you have any trouble registering your iClicker, let me know. I have two more tips for you. Remember to bring your iClicker to class. When you click to respond, you should see a green light. That means that my clicker system has actually received your particular response. And then if you see a red light, it means that it didn't go through. So you want to watch for that green light. And also, there are actually three batteries inside your clicker. So you probably want to put three spare batteries into your backpack just in case your clicker fails during class. And that's it for this video. See you in class.